Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to try a comparison between acrylic ink and watercolor paint. The watercolors I'm using today are Sennelier. Uh, they are a very nice artist quality watercolor and the inks that I'm using are my Liquitex acrylic ink. So I think for today we're going to start off with a bit of a swatching session and this is just to show how these paints look on the paper but also I want to do some swatching of how these paints look like diluted with water because this is the main method that you would use for both mediums. So as you can see the top row is uh, mostly undiluted with watercolor obviously you do have to add a little bit of water when you're using the pans at least but I tried to make sure that it was as most paint and pigmented as possible uh, comparable to the inks which are a liquid which you just add a little dropper and each row I would go along swatching the same colors and just adding a little bit more water to that mixture and uh, continuing on to see how they look when diluted after this I'm just doing a little test here with some wet on wet techniques and later on also a little bit of a dry blending technique just to see how these two different mediums work and honestly with the with the swatches I was actually quite surprised because you can notice a little bit more with the watercolor that it's getting lighter and lighter whereas the ink it sort of it feels like it took a little bit more work and a little bit more water to get it like lighter if that makes sense but you can still see more nuance with the watercolor so that was interesting very similar results with the wet on wet technique and with the sort of dry blending technique I feel like I may have used a little bit too much ink so it sort of blobbed a little bit together and that yellow kind of disappeared those inks are very very pigmented so sometimes you can accidentally use a little bit too much so that's a thing to note so now we are starting off with some artworks here and I'm actually going to be editing this a little bit differently to my usual art videos because I really want a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see like in real, well not real time because it's sped up, but you can see the process at exactly the same time with how these like inks and watercolors are working. I thought it might be pretty interesting to see. As you can see, we have the acrylic ink on the left here and the watercolor on the right. And I'm basically, I'm painting two separate artworks, but they are both very, very similar. And I had the cool idea to have like, they're both the, the same scene, but looking at it from a different view. So as you can see with the left side, the acrylic ink, we have a window of a little house or a cottage and inside you can see a cat and there's going to be like some pumpkins and some trees and maybe some vines and I want to have some little herbs hanging in the window as well and on the watercolor side so on the right hand side here you can see it's the same scene but it's actually from the inside of the house I just felt like this was a sort of fun and creative way to paint a very similar piece for both so that you can see an even comparison but I'm not painting the exact same artwork because honestly that would be kind of boring for me <laughs> and I really like to sort of tell little stories with my art and I really like the idea of having like the outside view and then the inside view of the house and you can like see more of what's going on. So with the watercolor paint, I just want to say I really love this medium. It's super fun to use. You can get some in, some um, unpredictable results sometimes, but that's just the magic of the medium. <laughs> and I have a lot of fun doing like wet on wet blending. As you can see on the table there, there's going to be a candle and I added a little bit of yellow to the area closest to the candle and then it sort of blends to a darker color on the other side of the table. I really love doing that kind of stuff with watercolor. And personally, I just want to say that I believe watercolor is a little bit more forgiving than uh, acrylic ink is, at least the ones that I'm using, because with acrylic ink, you can actually uh, dry the ink and it is permanent. It's not going to re-wet, which actually can be a benefit depending on what you want to do. But sometimes if you make mistakes or the blending isn't right, like in the top left hand corner of that window, as you can see there, it's sort of dried a little bit funny and there's like a little outline and then a lighter patch inside of it <laughs> with the orange. And if that was watercolor, I could just re-wet it and re-blend it. 
but with these inks since they are acrylic based inks once they are dry they are there unless you like scrape them off with like a knife or something but it's going to be there and it's permanent so you kind of have to think about that when you're using uh, at least waterproof inks now while that can be a drawback it can also be a benefit because one thing i really love about acrylic inks is the uh the way that you can layer the inks over and over each other and it's not going to disturb the layer underneath a lot of the time with watercolors i will layer a color over another color and because they are re-wettable and reworkable it will disturb the paint underneath and sometimes mix or sometimes I will paint like a light color next to a dark color and then the dark color will sometimes bleed slightly into the light color if I'm not careful. Now that can be a little bit frustrating with watercolors. So if you're working with watercolor and you keep getting those issues and you just like get frustrated like sometimes I do, <laughs> uh, maybe acrylic inks might be a good uh, thing for you. Now these aren't inherently good or bad traits about the, the, the paints or the, the mediums that we're using. It's just the qualities of how they work and um, sometimes they can be a good benefit and sometimes they can be a little bit of a drawback just depending on your painting style and what you prefer. Now, one thing I have found with watercolor that I didn't really notice until I did this direct comparison is that I feel like sometimes I have a little bit less control compared to when I was working on the same artwork uh, with acrylic inks. And that is like fine lines and thin details. I was using the same paintbrushes throughout both processes and I feel like with the inks, I was able to control the fine lines just a little bit better and just have like sort of thinner strokes and more interesting sort of line work, which makes sense because like ink is usually mainly used for like line work and stuff like that. So I can understand why it would feel that way. I just felt like with the ink, it went down smoother and I feel like with the watercolor, there was a very subtle texture in the paint, which is very, you know, normal because these paints are made out of pigments. And you will notice this a lot more with uh, lower quality uh, watercolors, but even with the higher quality ones, you will still find a subtle texture in the paint. And um, this is just how the paints are. But I really like with the acrylic inks that they are fairly smooth. And this really helps me to add very fine, delicate little details like the uh, branches of the tree on the acrylic ink side or the little tiny herbs that are hanging in the garden. Now, I do use another um, ink very soon in the ink side and that is just because I don't have a black in the Liquitex, but I actually do have a waterproof drawing ink, which is also acrylic based. So it's very, very similar. And um, that's what I'm going to be using for the cat because I want it to be a black cat. And as you can see, I'm starting now and I'm just painting that little decoration in the window, the little moon and the star, as you can see here. And I really like that ink as well. It is another acrylic based ink. And you can definitely tell that I'm getting a lot like finer details and a little bit more control especially when I draw the little strings that are holding up the little herbs in the window. Now with the watercolors, honestly, I do feel like they are a lot easier to mix a lot of different colors so you can end up with a lot of different vibrant colors. The inks that I'm currently using, they are very convenient with the little dropper, but you still have to like drop a whole drop of ink into a thing and then you have to sort of scoop some of that out with a paintbrush and mix it with a little bit of water and then do the exact same thing with a few more colors. And sometimes that can be a little bit less convenient compared to using a watercolor pan set where you can literally just dip your brush in, rub it on a color and then rub it into your like mixing like tray palette. <laughs> so I feel like I'm able to mix colors a lot like faster and especially when you're like trying to mix colors quickly because you don't want the paint to dry on the page yet. You want to go in and get those really nice wet on wet blends and sometimes that can be a little bit inconvenient when you're using the ink. Otherwise you might have to like 
set it all up on your palette first, add a bit of water, drop all the ink in there, and then it's going to start drying on the palette quite quickly. Another notable difference I will mention about the ink and the watercolor is that the ink, obviously you can get um, more opaque inks, whereas watercolor is usually mostly transparent. Now you can mix gouache into it which is like an opaque thicker watercolor but that's like venturing more into the mixed media side whereas I really wanted to just sort of compare the two different mediums. So with the ink I was actually able to mix in a little bit of white in some of these colors because I have a white ink of the same brand of the Liquitex and that allowed me to actually get some um, opaque effects so I was able to paint some leaves over the top of the dark green vines to add in a little bit more highlight and just fix up those details which I wasn't really able to do in the watercolor side as much. And this can be very helpful, especially if you have some mistakes to fix, which I feel like I did. Now with the watercolors, I do want to say that even though the paints are very subtly textured, I actually found that really fun because I felt like with these watercolors, I could get more interesting textures. As you can see, the fireplace, um, it has like some dark so, sort of cracks in it and little charcoal -y smudges. And I just really love the textures that I got on that piece. I just think that it was very fun to do. And um, it really sort of brought home the idea of an old cracked fireplace with a cauldron in it. And there's like soot on the, on the, the bricks and stuff. And I just really enjoy that kind of texture uh, when um, like working on art. Because I feel like with textures and stuff, you can you can sort of like tell a story through that as well. Uh, you don't need like you, you don't need your art to be completely clean without any texture because sometimes little imperfections like that can actually help push this, the narrative that you're you're pushing in this artwork. And here I am doing the same thing on the ink piece with adding a little bit of white to that red there, and as you can see, it's adding a nice little opaque effect to those leaves which really helped me to you know, paint over the dark details and add these little leaves on and that was very fun. Um, if I was doing the same thing with watercolor, I would probably have to mask off all of those leaves first so that they would stay white and then paint around them and then later go on with a red. And as you can see as well, I'm doing the same thing with the vines because I've decided that I want some little flowers all over there just to push a little bit more color and add a little bit more purple into this artwork. But yeah, overall, this was a very, very fun experiment for me to do, to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison of painting with both of these different mediums with a similar artwork. And I had a lot of fun doing it and I love the results. And honestly, I hope that um, this sort of comparison helped you decide which one you would prefer better for yourself. Personally, I don't want to say one art, one medium is better than the other um, unless we're like talking about direct brands because ink and watercolor are both amazing mediums, but they might work differently compared to what you want, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, I had a lot of fun and I love these two little artworks and I like how they sort of tell a, a subtle story there and I kind of want to title these artworks uh, the, the Witch's Doorstep and uh, the witch's living room. I just think that that would be very, very cute. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please hit that like and subscribe button and tell me in the comments below which one of these artworks is your favorite. I kind of have to go with the uh, outside one with the pumpkins just because I think the colors are really fun. Hope you are having a lovely day. Please stay safe out there and I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.